Are you ready? Are you ready for love? No. Hello, I'm Dan from Saz and Dan, and if you don't know who we are, you can watch our first video and find out too much about us, which is linked down there by my crotch, apparently. This is the first week where I have been left alone with you. Whose idea was this? So, for the first week where I am alone, I have decided to talk about something that is very, very prominent in my life right now. Rejection. Rejection is something you have to become best friends with. You have to know rejection inside and out. You have to fuck rejection in the ass so sweetly. Ugh. And I basically wanted to talk about all the different ways you can cope with rejection and how you can get through it without killing yourself. I have come up with six different ways to cope with rejection and collectively these six things form what I like to call Fafsha. Yes. I don't know. Obviously, everyone has their own way of coping with rejection. I find that these six things in particular are the best ways to get over something like that and to just move on. Number one, food. Mainly food that is bad for you, but tastes so good. Like cake. Oh god. Oh god. It's happening. Less self-hatred. More nausea. Ugh. I feel so sick. Number two, alcohol. Uh -huh. Number three, friends. The best thing to do is to give them a call and talk to them about your problems until you feel like it's more their problem than it is your own. Uh -huh. <laughs> Number four, sadness. Don't talk to anyone and cry. <laughs> Number five, be happy. Pretend to give absolutely zero of the fucks until you forget that you were actually miserable. <laughs> and finally, number six, lose your shit. <laughs> There you go, six ways to cope with any kind of rejection. Please feel free to like or subscribe or both. Probably both. If you have any other ways of coping with rejection, please feel free to let me know because I'm probably gonna need it. Okay, bye bye now. When Saz is away, Dan will play with himself. God.